Disclaimer. This video is part of a playthrough of the game Hello Charlotte Heaven's Gate. Because the game doesn't have audio, all the sound effects, BGMs, ambient sounds and so on are from different sources. All the original sources of each audio effect is linked in the description. Vincent leans closer into my personal space, making me recoil a bit. Oh, Jesus. Me and Henri is the best Henri. Actually, any Henri is great. Yeah! I can't exactly tell you not to worry about it, though. But I like you the way you are. Okay. Oh. Henry sighs. Well, me neither. Saying that sentence and seeing that face equals, oh boy, she would like to kill somebody right now. Like, this looks like, okay. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be my boyfriend. Oh, you also didn't notice that I have this knife in my hands, huh? Do, do you? Do you? <coughs> anyway, <laughs> I mean, around me, this sounds actually <laughs> possible. <laughs> Paralysis. I wake up with a headache and stumble into the bedroom to brush my teeth. I look into the mirror and notice that I only blink with one eye. Weird. But whatever. School proceeds as normal until I start feeling extremely fatigued during the fifth period. Something's not right. I end up calling mom. She always knows what to do. It seems like your son has bell Bell's palsy. It might take around a month to recover. Great. Out of all the rare illnesses, my body decided to get this one. What the fish is that? I didn't think me. Could you please pull up the, a, a little summary of that? Ah, uh -huh. I still don't know what it does. <laughs> because I'm not the time drawer, you know. <laughs> I know. And, um, fish you! As always, me, because you're making me edit hell, uh, Heaven's Gate harder. You know that. Definitely. I mean, you get a note with the audio, but yeah. Mm. Missing a month of school before exams sounds like the worst case scenario. It's just half of my face staying unresponsive, yet my whole body feels numb. Oh. Still, thank you for the summary, though. <laughs> I know, I hate uh, you hate me for that. I can barely focus on the phone screen as I type a message back to Henri, who was curious enough to investigate my sudden disappearance from class. One incoming message from Henri. You okay? Got hospitalized with face paralysis. The fish is dead! The fish is dead indeed. One of my eyes can't blink and my mouth is stuck in a convoluted grimace. Thank god no one will come to visit. Ha! <laughs> Suddenly, Vincent. I close my eyes one manually and hope that the numbness will go away in the morning. It doesn't. Hospital food is tasteless. It do that doesn't really matter since I'm going to be this charged today. No one stays at hospitals for more than two days unless you're fatally injured. Mother asks her acquaintances to give me a ride home. What followed were two weeks of pills and 24 hours sleep and two more weeks of staring at the ceiling because my mind couldn't focus on anything else. Henrietta came to visit while you were sleeping. She bought some printouts from school. Bless her. Among the stuff Henri brought I find a notebook with Vincent's name on it. I hope you find these notes useful. Get well soon, said the note inside. I'm mortified. I ended up being a burden to them both. I tried to shake the feeling off and be sincerely grateful, but end up being choked by guilt. I have to catch up. Become better. More capable. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. If I'm not ahead of others, then my self-worth is no better than zero. I... I need to thank people who care about me soon. 
when I finally became became able to come outside after what felt like forever. Then the lights were in full bloom. Care. Vincent has his nose buried into a notebook lately. Notebook lately. <gasps> He's definitely writing something, but I never pry. I think there are two ways to go about writing. To be the one in power, or to give power to your readers. You can write a piece of flawless and complete that your awestruck reader will be rendered speechless. Or create a flawed, seemingly, seemingly incomplete work, prompting the reader to contribute the, with better ideas. Which would you prefer? Hmm, playing God or making a fool out of myself? Tough choice indeed. So, that letter sounds like less pressure, so I take that one. That way, even reader, every reader can become a co-creator. Even if they get lost at my expense. I see. Besides, if something considered ideal, you can only make copies of it without creating anything new. That doesn't sound too creative to me. More importantly, what be your choice? Hmm, me? Well, what do you think? I think you want to leave it at it a rhetorical question. How are your grades coming along, by the way? Well, looks like I'll be one of the few people invited to the awards ceremony. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> I didn't really have a choice. Do you think you'll be able to graduate with honors? Nah, I totally blew my chem and math grades. Took me a bit of time to come to terms with the fact that I'm not that smart. Wish I didn't grow up thinking that doing well in academics would guarantee me a secure future though. Or anything, really. Right now, I just want to sleep my life away. <laughs> By the way, how's your mother feeling? She's okay, surprisingly enough. I'm doing my best to help her too. Even if it means working in retail. I'm sure of it. She used to be far more violent before. Never laid a hand on me, though. It was always something else. Pencils, clothes, books. The only thing I regret is that as a kid, I tried to make her less aggressive by saying I'll kill myself. <clears throat> that was extremely selfish of me. You were a child. You didn't know any better. Still, it's so weird. Out of all solutions, my four-year-old mind always jumped to no. Vincent touches the bruise on his cheek, only somewhat consciously. I guess I just wanted to kill to her into caring. I see. So that idea isn't foreign to you two. What do you mean? It's nothing. Don't worry. Sounds fishy. But as long as you don't want to talk about it, I'll pack it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pack off. Thank you. I would hate being pitied. Oh no. Visit. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have come without a warning. But it's Charles, so he won't mind all that much. I'll just return his book and go home anyway. Like, it's open. Huh. Jeez, when will they fix the lock? It's already been a month since it's been like this. This place is already a hellhole. Would it hurt them to put more effort into making it a little bit safer? The other were just taking too long. Someone just come in. Oh. Keep quiet and no one will get her. <coughs> you bitch. Stop screaming. Somebody help. I hear someone opening the door floors above. And a dog barking. Arr. <laughs> he ran away. I can't stay here. Blood. Ring. Um. Ring. Who could it be? Maybe I should pretend we're not home. Huh? Oh. Andre? There's a trail of blood behind her. He keeps stripping, staining the floor. What happened? Oh my god. 
God. Crap. Okay, don't talk. Mom, call the ambulance. Hurry, I'll help you lie down, okay? Blood will get everywhere. Don't worry about it. It's going to be alright. If her lung isn't punctured, that is. Here. Sorry for the makeshift scarf pillow. I'll get you a real one in a bit. I'll try to stop the bleeding now. But uh, I only have theoretical knowledge about it. Forgive me if it hurts. I will Google the right way to do it. So trust us. Okay, Google existed that ball. Henry stays quiet. Must be in shock. Yeah, that could be it. I help her take off her shirt and look at the wound, trying not to focus on the blood losing out. Okay. I most definitely... It will, it's most definitely a knife wound. Jesus Christ. Okay, this should do it. I throw the blood stained shirt into cold for him that out the side. The ambulance arrives quickly. I follow her to the hospital, hoping that it's nothing serious. When I see Henri, again she has the same absent minded look on her face. What did they say? No internal organ damage. But it's going to leave a scar. That's good. It sucks. Why do things like this happen? Can't everyone live in peace? She begins to tear up. Why must I be cautious of every person I see on the street? Why must I be scared of walking alone? There too. Ever since we moved into that place, I've been paranoid of every sound. We got rid of the cockroaches, but the neighbors stayed. Want me to get you some pepper spray? I have some in my bag. I hate it. The very fact that you speak of these things like they're nothing out of the ordinary. But they are ordinary. My mom got stalked by some psycho for over a year. <laughs> I got smacked with a broken bottle on the street some time ago. What? Our neighbor's dog got mauled by a pack of strays. Okay. Life's full of misfortunes like that. Fish that. It's unfair. It is. But there's nothing we can do about it. Can we? You're always like this. Ignoring the problem instead of doing something about it. Miss Warhol? What? And what's up with this sudden formality? I didn't get to ask, but... What exactly happened back then? I don't get it myself. Everything happened so quickly. He told me to stay quiet, but I screamed my lungs out anyway. Maybe he just wanted my purse. Maybe something else. I don't know. I just wanted to return the book. And he turns over and cries into the pillow. Wound. Hmm. Okay, I examine it's over. I'm going to disinfect the equipment. You can't get dressed. Thanks, Mr. Honecker. So, how is it? Hmm, I don't think these bruises will ever hear. Unless we skin you and replace the tissue completely. Yeah, I don't think you want it. Even though you're emotionally dead, unless you're medicated, it's going to hurt like hell. Can't laugh at all about that. If it's a smile, I can always give you one, see? I mean, Bennett is cute somehow. I don't know why, but Bennett is he's, he's, a, he's somehow a good boy. The only thing I don't like is about this, that he's a soap addict. And this is Again, no joke, he likes soap. Like... Soap is like a drug to him. And yeah, I don't think that's even good for anybody. Literally. Just like I was taught in the labs. Stop it, that's not funny. It's weird, Mr. Honecker. I'm so desensitized to cruelty and violence that I no longer feel saddened or shocked by them. I don't think I'm capable of crying either, or feeling anything really. Everything is just mundane. Well, humans are an end adaptive species. If all you see every day is atrocities, you can't help but get used to them. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Forget I said anything. You hate being sober that much. When I am, I start having thoughts. I rather not think, Mr. Honecker. That should be your thing too to do. Good night. Well, he's right. It's really not something I should concern myself with. I have to focus on my research while I still have the time. Love.